Hey Primary Music Leaders, this is Megan here. Today I'm going to show you how to do this clap, pat, and snap activity for Teach Me to Walk in the Light. So this activity is meant to just kind of be a fun way to keep your primary kids engaged and focused on some different keywords in the song. So there's actually a couple different ways that you can do this activity. And I'm going to kind of go through both of them. So the first thing you'll want to do is kind of look through the song and identify some words that come up often in the song. So when I think of this song, the first one that comes to my mind is teach. The song says teach a lot. Another one is walk. We hear walk a lot in this song. And then we also hear the word light. So those are the three keywords that I'm going to pick to use for this activity. So one way that you can do this activity is by identifying first those keywords. So you could start by saying, okay, we are going to focus on the word teach. And you could write on little strips of paper. You could write clap, pat, or snap. You could also choose some other actions too. You could add in um, some tapping your shoulders, tapping your nose, you could add in whatever actions you want, make it as silly as you can. <laughs> um, so once you have those keywords, then you can have someone come up and pick an action. And if they pick clap, then as you sing the song, then you'll clap each time you hear the word teach. And then the next time you sing through it, you'll pick another keyword and another action. So that's the first way that you can use for this activity. The second version is kind of a um, pattern that I created using all three of the keywords. So this is a little bit more advanced, um, but even your junior primary kiddos should be able to catch on. Um, so here we have a key with the three actions and some little symbols to represent each. And you can find this printable in this post, I'll link it below in the description box, um, and you'll find the key and then the two page printable for the pattern. And I'll show you what that looks like. So for this pattern, all of our claps are gonna be replaced by stars. So when you see a star, we're gonna clap. Then we have a triangle and that's gonna be our pat, so patting your knees. And then we have a rectangle for our snaps. And for this pattern, um, I've assigned each of those shapes to one of our keywords. So you could start this activity by showing the kids the first page of the printable and kind of having them look at these shapes and thinking, hmm, what might these mean? Kind of like a little puzzle, right? Trying to figure out, hmm, I see two triangles. Are there two words that are the same that come up in this part of the song? And as they figure them out, then you can add on the actions. So I'm gonna kind of run through and show you what that looks like. So this first page is a really good example because it contains all three. So our triangles are gonna be teach, which are gonna be our pat and our stars are gonna be walk. So each time you say walk, then we're gonna clap. And then our rectangle is gonna be light. So for light, we're gonna snap. So I'm gonna go through the whole pattern and see if you can catch all of those keywords. It's a really fun way to review. I hope you love it. Um, okay, here we go. Teach me to walk in the light of his love. Teach me to pray to my Father above. Teach me to know of the things that are right. Teach me, teach me. To walk in the light. So that's a, a really simple kind of breakdown of the pattern. Um, as you practice it and get more advanced, 
you can omit those words, leave them out and see if you can keep track of which words you're on. Um, but really, this is just a fun way to review. Um, I hope you love it. I'd love to know which version of this activity you use. Um, so I'd love to hear from you. Thanks as always for joining me and we'll see you later.